Just imagine a panel that remains 5 degrees centigrade cooler than the ambient even when the sun is beating down on it without using any electricity or energy source. In this video, we will be covering one of the miracles of modern materials technology that is passive daytime radiative cooling or PDRC in short. Using this technique, even in the scorching heat, we will be able to cool buildings passively that is without using any electricity at all. The PDRC coatings and panels allow the buildings to dissipate their heat to the absolute cold of space using long wave infrared radiation. Scientists have been researching on this idea since the 1980s, but only now it has become possible. This technology is extremely important because data suggests that nearly 20% of the energy used in buildings is used for space cooling. With temperatures rising on a global scale and population growth, the energy consumption for cooling is also steadily rising. The problem is compounded in high-rise buildings during summers. The rays of the sun heat up the building walls and create a layer of hot air on the surface. The hot air rises along the facade, thereby making the upper floor walls even hotter. Likewise, the hot air inside of the building also rises and in turn heats up the upper floors. As a result, the air conditioning units on the upper floors have to work harder to maintain temperature. In places like Madrid, Dubai, Phoenix, Karachi, etc., the peak summers are getting unbearably hot and the energy consumption is steadily rising. It's not just the high-rise buildings, people living in small houses that cannot afford air conditioning are also impacted. Furthermore, the net impact of using conventional air conditioning system is adding more heat to the environment. Therefore, we need methods that can create a cooling effect not only locally but also globally. Radiative cooling offers exactly that solution. The idea is simple, to gather heat from the building and radiate it into space. Mankind has done it in the past. Using radiative cooling, we have created ice and refrigerated items in the hottest of regions. The Yakchal buildings in Iran are an example. Today we don't have to build complex building structures for radiative cooling as there are synthetic materials that can achieve this effect. During the space race, scientists became aware of materials that had high emissivity and were able to re-radiate the energy contained in them or imparted on them with very high efficiency. But it's not just about radiating heat into the surroundings. The wavelength at which the heat is radiated also matters because only at specific wavelengths the energy can pass through our atmosphere and can go all the way to space. At other wavelengths, it simply heats up the surrounding air or bounces back. The wavelength at which the radiation goes all the way is between 8 and 13 microns. Interestingly, scientists had materials developed that emitted these wavelengths even back in the 1980s, but their use for buildings couldn't materialize because of another problem. High emissivity materials usually have high absorption rates too, and so during the daytime, they would soak the sunlight, which meant they were at times gaining more heat than they were radiating back. And so began the quest for materials that would also provide cooling during the daytime, that is, when it's most needed. The term PDRC or Passive Daylight Radiative Cooling was coined to cover this research. In the last decade, materials and paints that are easy to apply have finally been produced. Some are still in the lab, but others are now commercially available. For example, a spectrally selective composite aerogel with high solar reflectance of 0.95 and high long wave infrared radiation emissivity of 0.954 has been developed in China that showed a temperature drop of 8 degrees between the ambient and the roof. Similarly, Canada-based startup Chillskin 
has claimed that its coating called the polyfrost has 96% solar reflectivity and 97% infrared emissivity. It provides a cooling power of 100 watts per square meter. This versatile coating cools surfaces by an average 6 degrees below the ambient temperature during peak sun hours. The coating is intrinsically hydrophobic and UV resistant. The polyfrost coating is suitable for a wide range of surfaces including metals, fabrics, plastics and wood and can also be made freestanding. On the channel Tech Ingredients, it was shown how PDRC can be made at home using barium sulfate. I urge viewers to check that video if you want to deep dive into how these coatings are made. In the future, we will be seeing the application of PDRC coatings and panels on food containers, residential and commercial buildings. We will be keeping an eye on this and similar technologies. So if you want to remain abreast, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.